Also tonight, the solicitor's office in the 9th Judicial Circuit is prosecuting a case against a former Somerville police officer charged with murder last week after a deadly shooting in March. News 2's Jordan Sayopa sat down with solicitor Scarlett Wilson today to learn more about how these cases are handled. Solicitor Scarlett Wilson is thanking the community for its cooperation and patience during this investigation. She says the facts can be complicated in a case involving a member of law enforcement, but her office is following a set of guidelines specific to this type of case. Well, I want the community to understand that we aren't going to try this case in the media. First of all, solicitor Scarlett Wilson of the 9th Judicial Circuit answered what she could Monday about a case involving a now former Somerville police officer charged with murder last week. Their cases are different than the general public's cases. That doesn't mean that the law is different as it is applied to them necessarily, but it makes the facts more complicated because of the community's expectations, because of the government's expectations of them. Solicitor Wilson is prosecuting the case against Anthony Delustro, who was accused of shooting and killing Michael O'Neill while off duty outside of a Somerville Chick-fil-A on March 20th. Solicitor Wilson says her office follows a set of guidelines for officer-involved critical incidents created in part partnership with area law enforcement agencies. We're one of the few in the country that has this all written out and available for the public to see so they'll know what to expect. The solicitor says she's awaiting facts and evidence from the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division who is investigating the incident. Once that happens, she explains she will decide what to present to the grand jury who will make a decision on whether there will be any indictments. It will run through the process. We'll have uh, various things that happen along the way, hearings, there'll be evidentiary motions, things like that. In the meantime, Solicitor Wilson credits the community for its patience and cooperation in the investigation. And I can't thank the public enough for coming forward, giving statements, providing evidence when they had it. Uh, if we had that kind of cooperation in all of our cases, we'd be in much better shape. Solicitor Wilson says a murder charge carries a penalty of 30 years to life in prison. Reporting in the studio, I'm Jordan Sayopa. Count on two.